Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. Just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to use free accounting software. In this video, I want to show you how to lodge a tax return. So, I set up this business and um, under the reports and lodgements section, there is an option for tax return. So I'm just going to go into that. Um, and over here, you can see a whole list of different tax returns. They're all um, say new and and so um, you can choose which form you want to fill in from this list we've got tax returns going back to 2018 in fact um, the software has, has tax return lodgement for something like the last 12 years um, but this version of the software only goes back to 2018 so I'm just going to demonstrate the company tax return so to create a new company tax return, I just double click on that. Now, um, the process of lodging a tax return from a software point of view is pretty simple. You just go through and you fill in all the questions and when you get to the end, um, you hit lodge. Um, now, I'm just going to go and fill in a real sort of minimal um, set of information. I'm going to pick um, a resident, private company, um, didn't commence or cease business. Um, most of our users are running pretty small businesses. Um, again, my intention is not to um, tell you what fields to or what answers to put in any of this um, you have to do that um, yourself I'm just picking some answers so we can um, see this thing get lodged um, in relation to that if you click these question marks or hover over them um, the software has got some guidance about what to put into those um, boxes. Just putting something simple in, some like a thousand dollar sales and zero dollars cost of sales. Um, I kind of know what the mandatory fields are um, on the tax return. It, the software doesn't sort of have asterisks and things to say this is a mandatory field this isn't it does depend on what answers you put in what else is mandatory um, and you'll get error messages and you'll just have to work through that um, just going to put a dollar of assets and zero dollars liabilities um, As you can see, there is quite a lot of questions on a tax return. As with all lodgements, there's the declaration to fill in. I also want the public officer's contact details okay when you get to the end you've got to select your machine credential and type in the password now just I could just point out that this um, tax return feature is only implemented where you have a locally stored file. If you've created a Bassoff hosted business, um, this feature is not actually in the hosted version of the software. Um, and the reason is um, there's no need for it to be stored online. If if you want to, if you if you've got a Bassoff hosted business uh, and you want to lodge a tax return, just create a local file, and then you can lodge it from that. 
Okay, now there's two options to lodge. One is to click pre-lodge validate and the other is to click lodge. Pre-lodge validate will send it to the ATO. The ATO will run their validation on it and then send any error messages back or the OK back. Um, it won't actually get lodged and nothing is um, updated at the ATO and um, or who knows what they do but it won't actually get lodged. Lodge does the same thing but does actually lodge it. So I'm just going to do a pre-lodge validate. Okay so the software in the background does a lodgement. This page reloads in 20 seconds which is generally enough to complete the lodgement. Excellent. So we've got the green OK. Validation is successful. The status of the tax return changes to validated. I mean, that means not so much. Um, it's going to get revalidated when you do the lodge. Um, at this stage, um, we can click on tax return list and we can see that we've got the tax return listed there. Um, as well as you know the options for creating more tax returns um, and you know you might um, over the years uh, create more tax returns like the following year's company tax return and so on. Uh, there are a couple forms here actually that are not tax returns um, that you could um, also create and lodge um, and that's that sort of completes a bit of a demo of a simple um, tax return I do want to show you guys some um, uh, more information about how to add a schedule how to amend a tax return and I'm I'll do that in the next video. So um, I hope this video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.